Well, folks, <coughs> we're here at 2201 Edner Street, E-D-N-O-R, Edner Street, and we're looking at a 1961 two-bedroom, one-bathroom, 900 and actually 898 square foot old style Florida home here. It's a nice nice landscaping here. That is a uh, ficus tree right here. It looks like some choke cherry bushes on the front of the house. It's nicely painted. It's a beautiful shaded carport here. That absolutely could be turned into an entertaining area, very simply. Or be good for pulling your car in and unloading the groceries. A nice big backyard, no fence. And at one point in time would have been built for storing the garbage cans. Cabbage palms here for shade. And a crepe myrtle tree. Nice backyard. It's very quiet back here. Edner Street is off of Midway. Port Charlotte. We have a really pretty gardini tree backyard here. Storage shed for your lawnmower and some tools. So, this house does not have air conditioning, it has wall units. It was 74 degrees in the house when I went in there, but that's a consideration, right? We're going to try and see if this house will go FHA, and we're not sure. It definitely has some things that concern me for FHA. It's a nice house. If someone were to put some money into it, it would be... Amazing. The bones are great. It's one of the better ones I've seen. It's just whether or not it will qualify for FHA. So here we're back in the covered lanai. The carport, I'm sorry. Has a little storage room here. This would be a great spot for your tools. A little work room. It's probably four foot by five foot. It's good storage space, solid door. It's the best door in the whole property though. This is the stuff that I worry about for FHA. They make all the windows have to be working. So that literally, we would have to replace that door. So these are the old style Florida windows and I don't know if those are gonna crank or not. So the windows are a concern for me. The roof I don't think has been updated either. That's a flat roof with the peel and stick. Uh, kind of got a gravel texture to it. That has to be probably addressed. It's a cute house, the paint's in good shape. Lovely yard. Those are those lilies that they sell at Christmas time. Going there, a little Phoenix Robolini tree. <laughs> Let me take you inside here. And see if you like the inside of this place. The side door that I'm going into is going to take you right into the kitchen. I walk in the kitchen. It's been recently redone. It's a good space. Put your coffee maker there, toaster oven, little microwave right there. It's a good space. Got some extra room here. This is an older Maytag stove. 
For FHA, that doesn't matter as long as it runs. You can always replace that stuff later. However, I don't see it plugged in. And I don't see an outlet for it to be plugged in. We have a refrigerator. Okay, so there's the problem. Okay, refrigerator's plugged in. But I don't see... Ah, right down there. Good, okay. So we do have an outlet for the stove, but the stove has to be working. And one and two, those may have to have GFCIs put in in order for this to qualify for FHA. So it's a nice tile flooring, it's in good shape. There's one of your box units in the wall. 72 degrees. It's nice cold in here. It's quiet. That's not overbearing. This is where you would have your television, living room couches, storage right there, linen closet. You come down the hallway. It's a bedroom. It's like 10 by 12. Good shape, paint's nice, flooring's great. Big closet. All the ceiling fans match. Little linen closet here. Okay. Here's the master bathroom. Original sink. The toilet looks serviceable. It's been grouted in, so that's been probably a recent upgrade. Again, I worry about this, whether or not that needs to be a GFCI. Okay, these are all minor things, but you gotta get a homeowner that's willing to do those to sell it. Okay. And then you got the windows. That window does not work. I tried it. All the tiles in here look good, could use new grout, but just need a cleaning. Back out here to the other part of the house. There's a little extra room here. The front door was right here. Right there. The front door's not the best in the west, but it does shut and does lock. Probably could use a new deadbolt and a new knob, as do many of the other doors in this house. And again, I worry about this window. So that could be a $1,200 or less contractor job that might just need to be replaced. And again, you got the windows. But they tidied it up with some cute curtains. This would make a nice little office. It's got a door for peace and quiet. Okay. And then the second bedroom. And again, this has a box unit. Those can be replaced every couple of years with new ones. Right now, that is right, probably $300 at Home Depot. Again, the original windows, cute curtains. This is a, looks like a very good usable space. It has its own closet. All the fans match. But there you have it, folks. This is what 900 square feet gets you for $184,000. If we can be of any help to you, Aaron Dom or myself, Beth Dom team for Remax Palm, give us a call at 941 626 2869. We'd love to give you a hand with this house or any other house in our area. Look forward to hearing from you.